Welcome everybody to a guide for applying as a, a student from India. Thank you for bearing with us and apologies for the slight delay to the start of the session. Before we start, we just have a couple of housekeeping notes for you to be aware of. This event is being recorded live. There's a question and answer function running through the presentation, so please do submit any questions you have using the chat box to the right of your screens. We will answer as many as we can towards the end of the session. If you see a question that you would also like to know the answer to, please like it so we can ensure that we answer the most popular questions. I'm now going to hand over to Anna Scott, who is our International Recruitment Officer, and Mahika Shankar, who is a scholarship student from New Delhi and has just finished her first year at Derby. Hi everyone, so my name is Anna Scott and I'm one of the International Recruitment Officers at the University of Derby. During this session, what I'm going to do is cover the key reasons why we think that you should make the University of Derby your number one choice when studying in the UK. I'll start with an introduction of the university, followed by an overview about our city, our academic excellence in teaching, our campus, sites and facilities, and what makes Derby graduates so employable. I'll also talk briefly about each of our colleges and their subject areas. I'll then talk to you about the financial support options available, including scholarships and discounts, as well as the entry requirements for India and the admissions process. I'll also tell you about the support that we give to international students from when you first arrive in the UK and throughout your studies with us. The first question I always get asked when I'm out in country is where is Derby? So I'm going to start by showing you a video that shows just that. The University of Derby, located in the heart of the UK, where both city life and countryside are on your doorstep. And by road, rail or air, it's really easy to get to. Our Derby campus is one hour 30 minutes by train from London. Our Buxton campus is just one hour by train from Manchester. And if you're travelling from overseas, Derby is within easy reach of major UK airports. Plus we offer a meet and greet airport service when you arrive. Now you know where the University of Derby is. It's time to find out where we can take you. Visit. Derby is in the East Midlands in the heart of the UK. It's a high tech bustling city and it is home to all world class automobile and engineering companies such as Rolls Royce, Toyota and Bombardier. We have a significant strength in teaching and learning, which is reflected in our achievements. We are proud to be rated gold in the Teaching Excellence and Student Outcomes Framework. We are in the top 30 in the Guardian University Guide 2020. We have also been rated one of the top 20 establishments in the country for academic experience and in the top 250 modern universities in the world. Here at Derby, we have first class facilities. We're a fully accredited UK university with a great reputation amongst international students. Over 35,000 students study across three campuses across the UK. Over 3,000 international students from over 120 countries call Derby their home. We are the second most recommended UK modern university. Our graduates are amongst the UK's most employable and 96% of our graduates are employed within six months of graduation. We've got strong links with industry. We rank number one for international student support with our International Student Barometer 2016. We're ranked in the top 30 Guardian University Guide 2019. And we've invested 200 million pounds in our facilities in the last 10 years. We're also one of the most affordable cities in the UK for our cost of living. The student experience provided by the University of Derby has been ranked as amongst the best in the country. We have recently been ranked top 10 in the world for international student learning experience in the Global International Student Barometer Benchmark 2018. One of the reasons our students have such a great experience throughout their study is of course the quality and professionalism of our teaching. Our courses have been built by professionalism built by professionals and academic experts with employability and upstate content firmly in mind. But how we teach is just as important as what we teach. A great number of our academics have come from industry or are still involved in industry. This means that they know exactly what the latest industry trends are and what employers are looking for. 
Our university is made up of five colleges delivering courses in business, law, social sciences, engineering, technology, sciences, art and education. You can find details of our courses available to international students on our website. Our campus is just a short walk from the city centre and we have a number of sites across Derby and Derbyshire. We've been ranked top 20 in the world for our campus buildings in the latest international student barometer. The quality of our facilities ensures that students are experiencing environments and technology which is on par with the highest level of industry. What makes University of Derby stand apart is it, we believe in learning whilst doing. So we have a much more practical approach than a theoretical based approach. We have very strong links with the industry and our industry experts come on campus for guest lectures. We review our curriculum in consultation with industry experts and real world learning helps our students to be industry ready. And this improves their employment possibilities and opportunities following graduation. We have a major event on campus every year, which is the Graduate Recruitment Internship Placement Fair, where companies across the UK come onto campus to select students for internships and placements. Some of our facilities include a forensic house with seven rep crime scenes and a blood splatter room, a fully operational stock exchange environment in our Bloomberg Financial Markets Lab, a purpose-built Crown courtroom. We own and run Derby Theatre, a working commercial theatre in the city. We have a computer games lab, a fully serviced music production studio and a media suite. We have a new £10.8 million sports centre, which includes a state-of-the-art gym, fitness classes, climbing wall, squash court, tennis courts and a football field. Degree is only part of our student story. Derby students, we support students to apply their learning with relevant work experience, placements and real world briefs. Tailored support includes CV workshops, employer events, career seminars and online support to make sure graduates are job ready and shine in a competitive marketplace. This is how we ensure that 96% of our graduates are in work or for this further study within six months of finishing their course. Here you can see some of the strong industry links we have with employers across the spectrum, from charities to councils, small businesses to major multinational firms. We have key partners across the city and region, including Toyota, Bombardier, and with those partners, we are committed to see the economy, skills, education, health and well-being of our region thrive. As a result of these partnerships, the university has a reputation for applied learning and industry relevant degree programmes, offering over 20,000 students unparalleled opportunities to gain professional work experience alongside their studies. Our International Student Centre was ranked as one of the best in the UK. We've also come top among the UK Modern Universities Group for formally welcoming students and for our multicultural learning and faith support. The International Student Centre supports all of our international students by providing a broad range of services, as well as helping them to settle into the UK and make friends. We organise airport pickups through our free meet and greet service and invite all new students to come along to our welcome event when they first arrive in Derby. The team can also advise on visa applications and support with any welfare concerns throughout your stay in Derby. It's now time to tell you a bit about the student life at Derby. So we'll talk about where you can live and what support is available to international students. Most of our halls of residence are a short distance from campus and are within easy reach of the city centre. Most of our first years live in halls and rooms are grouped into flats with shared kitchens and they either have a shared bathroom or an ensuite. Your rent would be all inclusive with no separate bills. Most halls have free Wi-Fi, free TV, social spaces, nighttime security and CCTV, free weekly cleaning for all communal areas, free bike storage and an on-site laundry. Living in halls would be a great way for international students to make friends. It's a safe environment and there are organised activities and events. But if you do prefer to rent privately, 
we have a university approved landlord scheme um, so that we can make sure that where you are living is suitable. The University of Derby offers a range of study options from foundation programmes and undergraduate bachelor degrees to postgraduate taught and research master's degrees in a wide range of subject areas. We also offer online learning through the University of Derby online learning. The general entry criteria for an undergraduate course is 65% equivalent in grade 12 and academics IELTS 6 spans no less than 5.5 in each area. But each course has its own entry requirements, so it's best to check our website for the most up to date qualifications. You can apply for our courses online through the relevant course pages on our website by just clicking apply now and international student. You can also get help with your application by using one of our agents. To find your nearest one, go to derby.ac.uk forward slash agents. To complete and submit the application form, you will need to have the following supporting documents and information. Your qualification details, including certificates and transcripts, a scanned copy of your passport, a personal statement showing your interest for the course and the subject, a relevant reference from a manager, supervisor or tutor. Once the application has been submitted, you should receive confirmation that it has been received by the email account that you registered with us. Once you have completed the application, we have reviewed it and you have accepted an unconditional offer from us, you will need to pay a £3,000 tuition fee deposit. This is only refundable in the event that your visa is refused. You will then need to provide evidence of maintenance funds. If applicable, in order to receive a confirmation of acceptance to study, also known as a CAS. This will be needed when applying for your T4 study visa. Further details on maintenance funds can be found on our website. If you need any help with the application process, you can contact our admissions team who will be happy to help. Once again, please visit the website for more detail on applications and international requirements. There is no deadline for applications, but it's important to leave enough time for students to sort out their visa. Here at Derby, we have a dedicated visa advisor, Ash Slater. So this video will show you a little bit about the scholarships and discounts here at Derby. OK, maybe not. It seems like we're having some technical issues with the video. So I'll just tell you a little bit about our scholarships and discounts. We do have a range of scholarships and discounts at Derby. They range from £3,000 to £5,000 and we do have some fully funded scholarships. There is no separate application for your scholarship. So what happens is you submit your application and the international admissions teams review your application and they'll let you know when you, if you, when you receive your offer, if you are eligible for a scholarship. There's also a £500 discount that's available to students if you pay your course fees fully before you enrol. We also have a £2,000 scholarship for all postgraduate taught students. Our course fees do vary, so please check on the individual course pages to see the latest course fees. If you're applying to study in the UK for longer than six months full time, you will need to apply for a tier four visa. If you're coming for a short term visa, if you can apply for a short time visa if you are coming for a course that is less than six months. There's lots of information on our website and you can contact our visa advisor who's Ash Slater. Our government has recently announced the return of the post study work visa in the UK. This new graduate route will allow eligible students to work or look for work at any level for a period of two years following your graduation. There's going to be no cap on the number of students who can apply for our route and this is hoped that it will help international students to unlock their potential and start your career in the UK. Thanks for listening. I'm going to pass over to Mahika now who's going to tell you a little bit about what it's like to be a student in the UK and at Derby. Thank you Anna. My name is Mohika Shankar and I'm a joint honor student at the University of Derby. I'm currently, I've been uh, 
promoted to the second year for psychology and dance and movement studies. Um, the one thing that attracted me to the university was that it gave me gave us a chance to um, sort of uh, study two seemingly different subjects together. And I think, yeah, um, moving from India to the UK, it was a bit overwhelming naturally because yes, I was going to a completely different country, but um, from the meet and greet service to you know starting classes, lectures uh, in the first week, I had support uh, every step of the way. So yeah. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Mahika. Um, so we're now going to move on to the question and answer part of the session. Um, apologies for a few sound issues that we're experiencing here, but we're going to try and bring in our um, national representative from India, Anjali. Um, so hopefully she's going to be able to help answer some of the questions that have been coming through. Anjali, can you hear us? Uh, hi, Joe. This is Anjali. Hello, Anjali. Welcome to the session. Glad we finally got you on board. So um, one of the questions that's come through is, uh, is it necessary for international students to give an English proficiency test even if their entire schooling has been done in English? Uh, yes, uh, the academic uh, IELTS is mandatory for students uh, for all the courses. Uh, unlike other universities, we do not give any exemptions uh, uh, based on grade 12 marks or medium of instruction letters from the colleges. So yes, uh, academic, academic IELTS is mandatory for uh, undergrad and postgrad courses both. OK, thank you very much. Uh, and another question is, can a student apply to the university after completing 10th class from India? Uh, not really, because uh, we, uh, we have undergrad and postgrad courses. The minimum requirement for the undergrad courses is uh, grade 12, uh, which you have to appear. So yes, after uh, grade 10, uh, if you have done a diploma, a three year diploma, uh, then you may be eligible for a lateral entry into second year for some of the courses, but not directly after 10th standard. OK, thank you. Uh, so a question for Mahika. Uh, was it easy to make friends when you arrived in the UK? Oh yes, absolutely. I think, yeah, the first few weeks I was pretty nervous because obviously shifting to a new country and, you know, lots of new faces around. But the thing is, everyone around is in the same boat. So they are also trying to make new friends and just being uh, just trying to create a sort of sort of social network. So yeah, I came across a lot of very friendly and supportive people and I found a very nice group of uh, friends and yeah, I'm still in touch with them. And yes, hopefully we'll be meeting soon. Oh, that's lovely. Um, how do you cope with missing your family and friends and feeling homesick? Yeah, I would say that the first uh, two, three weeks are pretty crucial because you are just settling in and uh, yes, there's a lot of changes that happen. But once you get into a routine, because obviously you'll be flooded with assignments and then you'll be, be socializing. So I don't think you'll get enough time to really miss home. But yeah, even uh, because of technology, I think uh, it has become a lot easier because I used to uh, I used to be on video calls with my parents almost twice a day and just stay in touch with them. So it was a, a fairly decent uh, settling in. Yeah. Wonderful. OK, um, and just one last question for Mahika. What was it like living in the UK during lockdown and switching to online learning? Yeah, so uh, the transition was pretty smooth actually because uh, obviously the situation was not was not uh, really predicted and uh, a lot of spontaneous decisions were made, but uh, we had support throughout this transition and I thought it went pretty 
smooth because um, all my uh, mentors lecturers my personal academic tutor they were constantly in touch with us and helping us through mails or just having a quick chat on uh, microsoft teams just keeping check if everyone's all right and you know uh, on track so yes it was fairly smooth great good thank you uh, so another question for Anjali um, is it too late to apply for September 2020? Uh, no, you can apply right now. Uh, you can make an online application and you could expect an offer within uh, five to ten working days depending upon the course that you've applied for. The course start dates are in third week of September. So yes, you have still have time, but you need to uh, apply as soon as possible. OK. Uh, and one last question for today is, can I start my course in January 2021? Yes, you can. If, if the course is available for that in uh, January intake, yes, you can up, uh, apply for the Jan intake, but it all depends upon if the course is starting in Jan or not. OK, great. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, so thank you to Mahika, Anjali and Anna for um, this session. Thank you very much for joining us today. Further information is available on our website at derby.ac.uk forward slash India, or you can get in touch with us at international at derby.ac.uk. Thank you, everybody. We hope to welcome you to the University of Derby very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>